Hi there. So I received an update on the Mi Box 4K today. It claims to fix some of the critical issues. Now some of these issues might be inconsequential for someone, but for some it might be very important. Because what happens is that a small bug or an issue can really spoil the whole user experience. So if you have the Mi Box 4K, continue watching and I'll share all the fixes and improvements with this new update. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. So firstly, the update came in at around 625 MB. It took 5 minutes to download over a 50 Mbps connection. Barely took 5 to 7 minutes to install. For those who are in doubt, you won't lose any data with this update. The Android security patch level has also been updated from 5th March 2020 to 5th April 2020. And the build number has changed from 2604 to 2696. Alright, let's move to the fixes. First, voice assistant stops working when an external keyboard or a mouse is connected. So here is an air mouse keyboard remote that I use regularly to browse and type. It works when I plug this dongle into the USB port. So let's plug it in. So here's a demo before the update. You can see that the mouse cursor on the TV remote. Now I'm taking the Mi Box remote and let's check. What is the weather in Mumbai? What is the date today? Open Netflix. So you can see that the Google Assistant shows up on the display, but it doesn't register any voice input. Now here's a test after the update. What's the weather in Mumbai? Right now, it's 83 degrees with haze there. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. What is the date today? It is Tuesday the 11th of August 2020. There you go. After the update, the voice assistant will work even when the USB is plugged in. And it works perfectly fine. If you want to buy the Air Mouse keyboard remote, I'll leave the link in the description. And trust me, it makes typing and browsing on the smart TV much more convenient. I really don't know why these TV companies don't bundle such a remote with their TVs. It would be so much more fun. Anyway, you can buy this easily on Amazon if you like. Moving to the second fix. 5 GHz Wi-Fi issue fixed. Now this is a problem that many were facing. Being a dual band Wi-Fi compatible smart box, the 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection keep dropping or there were times it just refused to connect at all. Unfortunately, I didn't experience any of these issues, but I kept getting a lot of feedbacks about this. Finally, Xiaomi claims to have fixed this. So those who have the 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection and the Mi Box 4K can rejoice. And the third fix, audio video sync issue has been fixed when connected via Bluetooth. Wow, who doesn't like lag-free audio experience? So I've already updated the OS and let's check it out. My Mi Box is connected to the Mi soundbar via Bluetooth. Here's a demo. Hi there, this is the Mi Notebook Horizon Edition. I've been using this for over a month now and I've used it a lot, literally a lot. See, I won't deny, I'm a Mac user, but still something about it got me reaching out for it every time. Wow, that was really good and I could barely notice any latency. So now, even if you have connected your Mi Box to a portable Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headset, the experience is going to be a lot more better. So these were the fixes and updates. Overall, the OS was also extremely smooth and I didn't experience any lag or problems. You can check out for this update in the system updates, about section in the settings. Good luck, happy streaming. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If there are any questions regarding the Mi Box 4K, feel free to drop it down in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.